Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, well, welcome. Make yourselves at home. I have a variety of pick a card readings, everything from love readings to predictions, general messages. I do tons of horoscopes. So if you would like to check those out, just look at my playlists. Um, I did put out these 2023 forecasts per sign. So make sure to check yours out. There's a ton of information in there for you for throughout the year. And so, yeah, today we're back with a new pick a card reading. It's going to be a shorty and hopefully a goodie. Today we're going to be looking into the person on your mind. What are they thinking, feeling? What's their energy here in this connection? And what are their potential actions uh, in the next few weeks? This isn't, you know, it's just tarot. The energy always changes. It is a collective reading, so only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else because more than likely it's not your story if it doesn't feel like it is. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, I offer private readings. The only way to book is visiting the link on your screen. I always have to say this, friends, because it is like scammer central out there. Um, I will never approach you in the DMs. There is no like weird beloved situations going on. I love you guys, but I'm never going to tell you, hey you could use a reading. Um, that's what you come to me for. Uh, so yeah, friends, if you feel called to it, you can visit that link and check it out, all the other services that I offer. And let's begin. As you guys can tell, we have three different piles here. And whichever one you feel drawn to, there may be a message waiting for you there. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. All right, friends, when you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you picked this tarot deck, then welcome to your reading, friends. I love this deck. It's actually a little alien deck. Um, all right, so let's just get right to it. We know why we're here. We're going to be checking in on the person on your mind, see what their thoughts, feelings, what's the energy between you guys, and then we're going to be checking into their potential actions in the next few weeks. So we'll see what comes through. All right, messages from my group number one spirit. Thank you for allowing me to connect today. What's going on? The person on group number one's mind, what is, what's going on with them? What's their energy towards my group number ones, their feelings, their thoughts? What can you tell us spirit about this person on my group number one's mind? What's this person's thoughts and feelings and energy towards my group number ones? can you tell us please we have the ace of pentacles in reverse with the judgment card all right so you guys are at a separation right now or someone here might feel friend zoned um in some way they know so for some of you, this person like knows that they missed a chance or they know that there was something about a missed missed opportunity that happened and that could have left this at a separation or they feel like they're left out in the cold. Um, this person doesn't have the highest level of confidence and they might kind of wrap it up in like ego where you wouldn't think that. Um, there's an energy here of like moving forward, but it's like on a friendship level or getting to know each other, like getting to know each other better. Why the judgment, please? So the, um, they're trying to manifest the second chance here. Or like, for, like they, there's something that they've come to realize. And whatever happened in the past, the separation, it's like they don't want to worry about that anymore. And it's they're trying to manifest you back in. They're trying to manifest um, this to come back around or a second chance. So if you guys are feeling lonely, like they're feeling the same. Like if you guys feel left out, they're feeling the same. I'm getting there's like mirroring energy as well. For some of you, this can mean that this person um, breadcrumbed you. So only you'll know if you come to like that realization of, oh, they really gave me nothing. It's like, give me nothing, King. But for others of you, this feels like it's mirrored energy. Um, there's definitely a feeling here. I kind of had a feeling that this lover's card was going to come through. So this person's currently focusing on their material world. Um, they're like, we're friends, you know, we can be friends, but the, 
that connection right now. I don't think you guys are seeing eye to eye. We have the moon card showing up as well. I'm actually going to put that right there. Um, there's that lover's card though. There is a connection, but there's a feeling here of moving forward. And I, it's, it's almost like there's a lot to learn here. There's things that, that you guys don't know about each other. Someone here has hidden feelings as well. So maybe this person feels friend zoned and they're trying to manifest it. Like, like I said, like a comeback around, or maybe you're the one that feels friend zoned. Um, I do feel like there's something here that hasn't been spoken because they don't have the confidence. They come off like it. Like, I don't know if this person's like a business owner or a parent, um, someone who just like is loyal, committed, handles their responsibilities. Um, again, it just feels like there's an emphasis on the material world um, at the current time. This is a timeless reading. So that could be their focus. But someone here hasn't shared how they feel and they have romantic feelings. Oh, this moon card. Yeah, they're undecided. Um, and they also have regrets. Someone here is regretful or thinking back. Maybe it was a missed opportunity. This, this missed opportunity where they're like, I had a shot to let them know how I felt, or I should have asked them out, or I should have kind of insinuated. And it's like, when it came down to it, they didn't have the courage to do it. They do, they, I'm getting the feeling that this is not over. They're very slow moving. Um, and they may even procrastinate at times. Again, it's just they're not the most confident that maybe you feel the same way or that they can actually offer you the commitment. Maybe they feel like they're undecided if they're ready or not. But whatever it is that this person is kind of thinking about when it comes to you, there's regret, there's sadness, there's a, there's a wanting to make a decision or unsure of what to do. Um, they're thinking about it, but they're very unsure as to what they should do. They're holding back right now as well. They're focused on work and their material wealth. All right. I'm getting um, Aries, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Aries again. All right, friends. Let's see this person's potential actions towards you in the next few weeks. Oh, shit. Did you see how that just blew out? It was like, I said five of cups. I said five of cups because I feel knight of cups and I don't know how to tell you. I have feelings for you. Someone here could self-sabotage for sure. All right. Thank you, spirit. What's this person on my group number one's mind? What's their potential actions towards my group number ones in the next few weeks, please? What's their potential actions towards my group number ones in the next few weeks? What's this person's potential actions for my group number ones in the next few weeks, please? this person's potential action. I feel like they're just going to, yeah, they're going to go hermit. They're trying to figure it out. They may not be as emotionally mature as you or just in tune with how they're feeling. Um, they're even, maybe they're even like, do I like them as a friend or is this more? But it's like, I feel like they feel more. They just haven't really either realized that with that moon card and the Knight of cups that we saw earlier, someone here is hiding feelings. Maybe they're not even sure. They're just kind of keeping to themselves. Um, yeah, this person's, uh, this person might be going through some type of ending, or maybe you experience an ending and they're just sitting back while they heal. I'm getting the sense that they're not at their best vibration right now with that temperance in reverse. Um, you don't like, they may rush into something or just like, not like it's just, it's not, it's not a good energy to be making decisions in. Uh, interesting. There could have been something that ended that had to do with a family or some, maybe a shared community or something stressful that has to do with family is coming up for them. Why the page of cups? If they are a parent, it could have to do with something like that. Uh, this person's really, uh, not sure if you feel the same. They're not sure if, if feelings are shared here. Cause I don't think that you guys have this doesn't feel like it's a group that has like told each other they love each other or maybe even like I'm 
yeah, I mean, take it as it resonates that this is messages for someone that ha that conversation hasn't even happened. So they know they're not in a good place right now. Um, whatever it is they're going through, they need to do it alone. And they feel this person almost feels like they don't deserve to get their wish fulfilled or they don't deserve to like, um, yeah, get something that they wanted here. Maybe it's a timing thing. Maybe they're like, you know, the fair thing to do is to not go after what I want or to miss out on this for now. The next few weeks, I don't see them taking action towards you. I see them keeping to themselves and kind of dealing with their own crap. Yeah, look at that. There's an ending that happened that knocked this emperor off of his, off of his throne. He may feel out of control or like, yeah, and doesn't like it. Um, this is also someone who feels a little volatile in their energy as well. But they don't, yeah, I was, earlier I said, it doesn't feel like it's done. There's unfinished business here. And it's like, even though they haven't given up, they're just really tired and exhausted. And it's like, they may have come to some type of realization. In the next few weeks, I don't see, I see you repeating a pattern with them. Whatever has been repeating, I think it's going to be like that. The situation is really slow moving. So progress is happening, but it is slow. So no, you're not done with this person or the cycle isn't complete. Again, it's slow moving. But right now, it's really slow. This person has realizations and healing to do of their own cycles and patterns. Um, yeah. They could also be signifying that this person's pattern is really slow and um, friendship. There keep, there's friendship or children that keep coming up that kind of affect this person. Maybe it's um, the need to move slow and start from a friendship. But next few weeks, that's what I see for you guys. I write my group number ones. Let's see if this person could say anything to you, what would they say? Thank you, Spirit. Can we get some messages? This person is saying, I'm not going to sit back. I get it now. That might be the realization that they come to because I definitely feel like when this light bulb moment happens with that ace of swords there, it's like they realize something and something isn't done here. They're also saying, I need space. One more, please. And then they're saying, I purposely go places I know you've been just to feel your energy. All right, my group number ones, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. And I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. And welcome to your reading. You know why we're here today. We're going to be checking in on the person on your mind. See what's going on with them. What are their thoughts and feelings towards you and whatever the situation is between you guys. And then we're going to be looking into their potential actions in the upcoming weeks. It is tarot. The energy is constantly changing. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. And let's go. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages for my group number twos. Spirit, the person on my group number two's mind, the person that they came to this reading for. What's going on with them? What's their thoughts, feelings, energy towards my group number twos, please? You guys could have had a breakup or a heartbreak or there was something that happened. What's going on, please? What the person on my group number two's mind... What's their current thoughts, feelings, energy towards my group number twos, please? What's their energy towards my group number twos, please? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. This person could feel like you've, uh, you don't love them anymore. You emotionally shut off from them. You're not fighting for this anymore. Either that or they're the ones that just, they don't have fight left. There's too much emotion. They view uh, you or someone here is moving forward. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Let's 
going on with this person? Well, they still have feelings for you, that's for sure. What's going on with this person? What's their thoughts and feelings towards my group number two? But they don't like, they don't show consistency behind it with that Knight of Wands in reverse. Why the Seven of Wands? Why the Chariot? Yeah, you guys could be at a disconnect for the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Distance, loneliness. They feel lonely. They feel left out in the cold, like you're moving on, or maybe it's vice versa. And they go back and forth. It's like they do have feelings for you, but they're like, if anything happens, like this is slow. Right now, they want space. They're focused. If you guys felt drawn to group one, um, maybe take a, take a look there as well. Um, only if you felt drawn to it. I mean, maybe there's even messages for everyone in all groups, but I'm kind of sensing here where it's like either friend zone or let's just get to know each other better. But even if you're friends, it's so on and off. It's like there's no level of commitment. There's no stability. It's just very in and out energy, more out than anything, including with their feelings. They might come to you and have you know, I invite you out somewhere, share something, be vulnerable with you, but it's not the most substantial anything to build a foundation on. It's too in and out. For now, they are taking a break or you guys are taking a break and it feels like things are moving very slowly. Um, but there is loneliness. Someone here feels left out because of this break. They also feel like you also aren't like fighting for this or it's very mutual. Basically, I think they feel like neither one of you is really giving or doing or fighting for the connection. And they are debating their options. They're weighing their options. They're not making a move right now. What are these options, please? Tell me about this two of wands, please. They're debating if they should come to you with an apology or with feelings. But they almost feel like it may not be enough or you're not open to it with that queen of wands or queen of cups in reverse it's like maybe you were hurt and in all honesty anything that they have to offer you right now it doesn't feel like it would be of substantial at the moment their energy whatever they're going through it's like it's too wishy-washy i'm getting that there was a heartbreak or or something happened something disappointing and even though I don't think neither of you has truly walked away, you guys are in this energy of kind of ignoring it or ignoring each other. And neither of you are satisfied in the situation. Someone here hasn't gotten what they wanted. Um, and they, they are kind of ignoring or detaching from it for the time being. What else, Spirit? They're trying to heal, but they're also very confused. This could be someone that has options by the seven of cups or they're just not sure they're not sure what they want they're confused over moving forward and there's a lot hidden here with this devil energy and the moon maybe you're dealing with a capricorn or a pisces there's um a obsessive thinking at times as well very very um it could be even self-sabotaging or depression and it's like, this is something you don't see. They live in their thoughts like a lot. They want an emotional new beginning. I just don't think that this person is okay enough to get there right now. Yeah. That someone here could be, could be having like a mental health like um, situation where it causes, like there's lots of confusion, lots of overthinking, obsessive thinking as well. So if that sounds like you or them, like one of you is kind of being influenced by this energy at this moment in time when you listen to this. This is a timeless reading. We have Capricorn, Aquarius, Cancer, uh, Virgo. We have all the signs, but those are some big ones. All right, let's look at this person's potential actions in the next few weeks. It is tarot. It is not written in stone. Things can always change. Thank you, Spirit. What's this person's potential actions towards my group number twos in the next few weeks, please? What's this person's potential actions towards my group 
Number three is please. Is there a potential action towards my group number three, please? They're undecided in the next few weeks. Wow. They want to come storming in. It might even be a little impulsive with this lovers. Yeah, this person if wants to come towards you. They want to get in their car and come towards you. They're just trying to decide when and if. They might be a little impulsive if they do do it. They want to come in, but they don't want drama, and they do want to work on this. There's an emphasis on work, putting work into this. Why the two of swords? They're waiting for mental clarity. This person is struggling right now with their thoughts, you guys. I'm just going to say that. Um, they're, they're undecided, but this is what they want. Why the lovers in the next few weeks, please? Why the chariot? So they are trying to manifest this, but at the same time, it's coming from a place of like, they're just, their mind is like, a lot of stuff going on in there. It's like a mishmash. They want to come to you when they're healed. And they want to be so impulsive, but it's like hard. Like they want to come towards you, but it kind of stresses them out or they're dealing with these very conflicting thoughts. So I'm going to say half of you are going to see this person or reunite or there's, there's going to be something that connects you back to this person. And the other half, this person, it's because they couldn't overcome whatever it is that they're dealing with. Um, I'm literally seeing as above, so below here. Um, for others of you, this person feels like in order to avoid this drama, they have to physically stay away. They could be working on their home. For those of you that you do hear from this person, um, they're going to want to want to put work into getting your relationship to the next stage. If you guys are just texting, maybe there's phone calls. If you guys are hanging out regularly, maybe it's becoming official. If you guys have been official and this is a weird hiccup, it's like elevating to whatever's next. It's taking the relationship to the next step. Um, now, let me go back to the drama. Some of these people could literally, well, some of the people that you're dealing with could literally be avoiding other groups of people in order to avoid drama or conflict, that's not going to apply to everyone, but I have to throw that out there because it's almost like there's a need to create space from something that carried a lot of stress and tension. This person does feel connected to you. Um, and like I said, I would not be surprised if they do take action towards you, but they are struggling. So if this sounds like your person, I think you kind of already know what I'm talking about. They're really trying to get the courage. They don't feel like they can give you what it is you deserve and what you want at this moment in time. If there is hesitation and if you guys do not hear from them in the next few weeks, it's because they're still struggling. For those of you that this person is deeper in their journey and they kind of overcome these intrusive thoughts, I do think you will be hearing from them and I do think they are going to be willing to put work into it. Regardless, even if this isn't, if you don't hear from them, I do think eventually you will when this person is um, in a better place. All right. For now, they're not confident to take the leap of faith. If this person could say anything to you, what would they say? I can't take it anymore. It's too much. Literally, this person is going through a lot right now. That might also be them saying they can't if you are in separation, they can't take being away from you. Um, this came out in group two as well. I purposely go to places I know you've been just to feel your energy. Maybe you guys share community, neighborhood, favorite spot to go eat, Saturday coffee, something like that. Then we have, it's the end of the world. This person is going through something very stressful and they want to tell you about it, but they just cannot. Um, I want to tell you all the things. And then the last one that came out is let go. Let's see if it comes back. That's what they might be trying to do and give this space and time for those that are really struggling um, to make progress with whatever it is they're going through. It's almost like they have to build themselves back up in order to feel like they're at your level. This person right now doesn't feel, it feels like you're too good for them or they, they can't give you what it is you deserve, even though they see you as this empress. All right, my group number twos, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated, and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes, and welcome to your reading, friends. 
you know why you're here. We're going to be checking in on the person on your mind and seeing what their thoughts, feelings, energy, what's going on um, between you and them. What are their thoughts and feelings towards you and this connection? And then we'll be looking at their potential actions towards you in the next few weeks. It is tarot. The energy always changes. So take whatever resonates, leave the rest behind, and let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages for my group number threes. The person on my group number three's mind, Spirit, what's their thoughts, feelings, energy towards my group number three? Some of them are really stressed out. They think of you late at night. They think of coming towards you if you guys are at separation. If not coming towards you, they want to communicate with you message you dm you late at night that's their point of weakness is what i'm hearing that's only if you're in separation from this person they think of you in the wee hours thank you spirit the person on my group number three's mind spirit what's their thoughts feelings energy towards this connection in my group number three is what's going on with this person you want to fly out no no okay yeah, they're in their minds, guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, they're really in their head. They feel stuck. They're not sure what the F to do. They don't even know what the F to think. We got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini on the table so far. It's like they can't see clearly, and they're so tired, you guys. They don't understand. We're going to put these back. You guys aren't talking. They're feeling... They're, they're trying to get over the fact that you guys aren't communicating or they're trying to release sadness, like the initial sadness that they felt, it's wearing off, but now they're like, it's not fair and they're really exhausted. They feel something isn't balanced here or there's some type of truth. They're also having, oh, you guys, I'm convinced that there's messages in all three groups <laughs> for everyone. So if you feel so called to watch the other two, uh, you may find that this is maybe a timeline. But um, this person's having a struggle. They've lost hope. They're also not thinking clearly. That's the first thing, guys. They're not thinking clearly. When it comes to you and them, they don't know what to make of it. They know that they're not feeling very hopeful and it does not feel very good. Um, they don't have, yeah, their thoughts when it comes to this. Is they're jumbled up. Why the Eight of Swords, please? So they they try. Earlier I said that at nighttime that's their like soft spot because I think they try not to think about this because it's the only way that they're not sad. They know that they want something to change or they're just tired of this. They've been wounded, but they're really unsure what to do in this situation. They don't think it's fair that this opportunity couldn't be taken or there was a missed opportunity or something here couldn't take off. And they've lost hope. They might see you as walking away or they're walking away from something and it's really hard for them. They're focusing. So they put their focus on work. They're also, some of them aren't really clear as to what didn't work out or what happened. There's a lot of lack of clear thoughts and logic it's just it feels like someone here is really trying to control things there's no emotion on here which tells me that this person is blocking emotion because no one is this much in their head without feeling something from the heart this is the energy of someone that's trying to shut it down mentally um, and repress emotionally is what i'm getting the emotion we have is I'm letting it go. I'm walking away and maybe they are, but, um, but it, um, mentally it doesn't feel like it's coming from the best place. We have a random three of cups that flew out. Let me pull one more for that three of cups. Now that it's on the table, they're holding back from reuniting with you. They want to come together. One more, please. What three of cups? Yeah, right now it's silent. Some of you could be connecting in the dream space or telepathically, maybe when you feel them or think of them. This is for those of you that have the psychic connection with this person. It's like that's very much real. That's where they connect with you. They rather connect with you. Um, literally, I'm sensing someone that right before they're falling asleep, it's like you're in their thoughts and they like 
fantasies turn to dreams kind of thing. Maybe they even have conversations with you um, in their mind, in their dreams, but it's very quiet in the 3D. Why the moon in reverse and the eight of swords, meaning in real life it's quiet. So something here, um, there's also divine timing. Someone could be releasing something, releasing a Pisces maybe with that moon in reverse, but very much in their heads, very much in their heads over the timing of something. It scares them, maybe because they don't feel like they're in control. They might be breaking away from something toxic and they're really focusing on their material world right now. Not, they're like, I'm good, they're standing strong. But what we don't see is um, this person doesn't have stability in some way. They're just kind of hanging back. So when it comes to you and them, mentally, they're not well. They're not in the clear. There's no understanding. There's just like a, a it's not fair. But at the same time, I, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to feel anything. That's what it is. They are worried about it. They're just like, I don't feel anything, which is interesting. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, they want a new beginning, but for right now, they can't, they, they feel like they don't have the courage or the energy to put work into this. So they're focusing on their material world. Maybe they're focusing on the things that do make them feel better. Maybe that comes in the form of, of work and being focused on that. All right, let's see what this person's potential out or actions towards you are in the next few weeks. All right, thank you, Spirit. What's this person's potential actions in the next few weeks towards my group number threes, please? What's this person's potential actions towards my group number threes in the next few weeks? What's this person's potential actions towards my group number threes in the next few weeks, please? Wow. So their heart seems to be understanding a little bit more, and they do, there's this spark, this new excitement that they are manifesting. Um, that King of Pentacles in reverse though, it's like they're still not fully available, but I do think that mental clarity is gonna start to set in in the next few weeks better than where they currently are from whenever you um, watch this. There's, um, I'm getting the feeling that they may feel like maybe things aren't reciprocated or Hmm, let's see what this is. Why the King of Cups, please? This person's actions towards me. Wow, yeah. There's a realization. Um, I don't say this lightly, but for some of you, this is like they realize that they love you or that you guys are like divinely connected. They want to start something new, but not, they can't, there's like the commitment, they can't give you the commitment yet but it's like they're slowly coming to these realizations. Why the magician, please? Mentally, they're doing better, guys. Oh my gosh, thank the Lord. They are doing better. We need more of this healed energy in the world. They're feeling more hopeful. They're manifesting again. Why the King of Pentacles in reverse? They still don't feel like they can give you what you deserve or what you need, even though there's a realization here of being in love or how much they care, how much love there is here from their, their side, from their end. It's like looking at this from a more emotional, mature place than they have been. And there's a recognition here of your guys's connection or of your bond. And they are very excited to say the least <laughs> with that Ace of Wands, that spark, wanting something with you, but not coming in committed. Why the nine of swords in reverse? This person may be walking away from something. Um, 
there's a lot they're trying to understand it's almost like i'm getting the feeling of someone that isn't even really sh like you know that scene in clueless where she's like oh my gosh i love josh it's like literally what i'm feeling from this person they're like oh my gosh i love so and so fill in the blank i love my group number threes um but i'm not sure what to do about it now because i'm still not feeling the most confident i'm not in a place where i can come in and commit to them I can't offer them the stability that they deserve. And I know that I would leave them kind of not fulfilled or it's like they're afraid that they can't offer you what it is you deserve. And maybe they can't right now. And maybe this is what needed to happen for them to kind of come to this conclusion because we're talking about someone that literally made leaps and bounds in a matter of weeks, whatever this person's currently going through right now, it's a little bit of a hot mess. I mean, we all go through it, but we just took a peek at this person. It's interesting. They say that they're walking away, but it's like, I don't know if they feel like you've walked away and they haven't or someone here did. I, I, very interesting message. But again, there's lots of fears over commitment with this person, but they have feelings for you. Now, whether or not they're going to come to you and tell you this, I'm not really sure. I'm getting more of a sense that there's a, an emotional uh, and a realization and more mental clarity that sets in for them, but they are not quite there yet. There's something about the next few weeks that this person is going to be making progress when it comes to their mental health and, um, yeah, their, their thoughts. What else, please? What else can you tell me in the next few weeks? Will my group threes hear from them? Um, a lot of you are going to continue to kind of feel them in your energy with this high priestess, there is quietness. So this is what gets to you. They're coming to all these realizations in the next few weeks and you're starting to get real, just like it's emotionally draining or it's like, I feel like you love this person too, but because of everything that's going on, it's maybe you've had to shut it off and you've gone quiet. Maybe you're focusing on your work as well. I don't, I'm not necessarily sure you guys are actually gonna be hearing from this person, but I do think that on the 5D level and the dreams and you kind of feeling connected to them, I definitely think that's going to continue, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess that this situation is not over. Let me ask that specific question. Spirit, is this situation over between my group number threes and the person on their mind? Is this situation over? No. It's blocked right now, but it is not over. Do not be fooled. You're going to be, if you're in separation, if there's a pause, it's not over, my friends. All right. Let's see. If this person could say anything to you, what would they say? Thank you, spirit. Let's pull some messages. If this person could say anything to my group number threes, what would they say to my group number threes? What would they say to them, please? There's a lot you don't know. They're saying you don't know the half of it. They're also saying, I can't take it anymore. It's too much. This person's having a really difficult time right now. They also might be really feeling your separation because we're talking about someone who tried to repress emotion and it's going to come bubbling up. They might see you, see a picture, uh, hear your name, and they're like, oh, oh my God, but I love my group number threes. We have don't go. This person's afraid that you're walking away from them. Don't go. We also have I've gone over, played out, and came up with all the worst case scenarios, and now I can't move. Send help. Then they're saying, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. I can't wait to tell you how I feel about you, but now is not the time. Oh my God, why am I almost crying with this reading? And then they're saying, I'm, <laughs> I'm literally getting teary-eyed, you guys. Your person's having a tough time. Um, and then we got, you don't need me to tell you, they feel like you already know with that high priestess, you guys are very connected. Um, this connection is not over friends. Give it time to breathe. Give this person the room that they need to take care of their mental health, um, and whatever else they got to figure out. All right, friends, that's what I have for you today. If you feel inclined to watch the other groups, I promise, I think there's messages for you there as well, just because I feel like there's a common thread going on here. But that is what I have for you. I'm wishing you nothing but the best friends. Please take care of yourselves. Let me know if you like this reading. Give it a little like. 
um, get, drop me a little comment. I would love to hear it if you want to see more shorties but goodies. And I will catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys.